Hey guys, welcome back to Technology for Blind YouTube channel. I am back with another video. So in this video, we are going to look at the software called Microsoft Teams, how to use it as a visually impaired person, okay? So if you are new here, welcome to the channel and uh, I hope you will subscribe to the YouTube channel and also enable the notification bell to notifi get notified about uh, future updates, all right? So with that being said, let's get started in the video. Now, Microsoft Teams is a kind of um, advanced software uh, we have Skype, I know, but uh, Microsoft Teams is a um, software which is used in corporate environments, okay? Now, uh, the reason why I am using Microsoft Teams in my system, in my life, is that, uh, as you may already know, I am following a degree in a university, and since the unfortunate situation has been occurred in all over the world, we have moved to online education okay online lectures right now as the platform my university uses the microsoft teams uh, to conduct online lectures right uh, since the software is developed by microsoft obviously the software is accessible and i'm very happy to say that right uh, i'm gonna walk you through how to use the software in a simple manner but uh, I will leave a link, link in the description box below which is a video on how to use Microsoft Teams in a uh, visually impaired perspective uh, which is done by Microsoft, okay, Microsoft uh, Accessibility Webinar or something, right? Now this is not an extensive tutorial, just a simple walkthrough, okay? I will give uh, my tips, tricks as well, right? Now let's get started, I have downloaded, installed the Microsoft Teams software uh, if you want, you can get from the official Microsoft Teams website. Uh, I will leave the link in the description box below, as usual, right? Um, you can't kind of uh, enjoy the thing because it's a corporate uh, thing, as I said. Uh, I am not a channel member or something, just I am a guest. So I don't have much control. I will let you know what's going on in the software actually, right? Without further ado, let's get started. Uh, I am using NVDA. Start button. Start tool tip. Um, let's open Microsoft Teams. Search on the window. Search box edit plan. Uh, I'm gonna type Teams in the search box. Microsoft Teams. All right. Press right to switch preview. Press enter. And in a minute, it will launch. The software is a kind of a heavy software. Uh, it takes a lot of resources. Um, I feel like it's a little resource hungry. Um, Okay, it's uh, loading. Loading Microsoft Teams document unknown. Loading Microsoft Teams. Loading Microsoft Teams. It's a little hard um, since my recording program is also going on. OBS. Uh, it's a little tough. Okay, it has been loaded. Microsoft All Teams right. main window row one column one general C L H N D I T match ninety two Microsoft Teams main window. All right, it is loaded completely. Uh, this is the, the thing general H N D T more messages. Uh, is the team where I have connected to now. A team is a team, okay? It's the standard practice. A team is a kind of, kind of collection of members or something. And in my case, I'm having only one team, um, the course of my uh, university, right? Now, um, you have got a little more options here. Mm, chat, call and files, all those stuffs. Uh, those are explained in the video in the description box below uh, Microsoft Accessibility Webinar or something uh, You can watch if you are wish willing to learn more about the usage Now um, General let's see how it goes Button back Now Button not available forward You can This is a kind of a website, okay? Uh, you can navigate using browser commands, okay? Uh, or single letter navigation, so uh, all those things And if you want to type or something, if you want to edit uh, or type a message, then you have to switch to focus mode. But if you are using the default settings of NVDA, uh, it will be automatically switched for you, right? Now, in my case, it won't because I have turned off the automatic uh, focus mode switch uh, because of my preference, right? Now, 
If you press H, you will hear the messages. Teams and channels list navigation landmark. Teams and channels list preview profile picture of CLHNDIT patch 92. Graphic this is the team of mine, and from now onwards, CLHNDIT. These are the messages. Yes, reply from CL. Schedule the meeting by distance learning for HND. And uh, unfortunately, I'm not in a situation to show how the call thing works because uh, we don't have a call and we don't have a meeting. But it's the general practice. Uh, it will be explained in the video, uh, Microsoft Accessibility Webinar. So if you are uh, willing to learn more about the, those things, you can watch that as well, right? Now, say I'm uh, willing to type a message on this team. I can press E. Start a new conversation. Type at to mention someone. Edit multi line. And I can uh, press Enter. No next edit. Uh, to focus mode. Enter, uh, enter the focus mode, and I can type whatever I want. Okay, now I'm not going to type because this is a public team, or the all of the members are here, right? Now. Uh, let's get back from the focus mode by pressing uh, NVD plus space. Browse mode. Now, um, even though, uh, let me uh, explain it, that um, this is a kind of a tip of mine, okay? Even though um, Microsoft Teams is accessible as screen reader users we, we can use, but there are some, let's say, drawbacks, okay? Which is that if you are using NVDA, um, I have noticed through my experiences of using the Teams software, now I have been using Teams for about a month or so, um, there are some not responses kind of thing. It, the focus get back to where somewhere and it says Microsoft Teams pain, Microsoft Teams pain and you have to close either the NVDA or Microsoft Teams, uh, it depends on the situation. So that's, that, that's an unfortunate situation but overall, the overall experience is that you can use Microsoft Teams effectively, right? Now, I have turned on the dark mode, but uh, there is a light mode as well, okay? Mm, let's go to the top of the window by pressing Ctrl Home. Out of edit button back. Button back, and if I go back, Unavailable. Uh, it won't happen because uh, since I'm having only one team uh, connected, uh, it won't happen, I think. Button not available back. Uh, we, we have got a lot of shortcuts as well, okay? If you want to use the short shortcuts, uh, Level yeah. two, three view item sub menu application two edit start typing the name or group. Uh, you can shoot switch to the, button back. Uh, control C -C one to control six. There are shortcuts. Control one is uh, feed. Okay. Uh, control two is let me see. Chat list navigation landmark chat. List. And control three teams and channels list navigation is teams and channel. But uh, more I'm having only one team. And control four is. Alert, we can't get your files when you're working on getting This is the files, okay? Uh, let's say you have got a file from one of your team or something. Uh, this, these will be, uh, those will be, uh, will be appeared in this section, right? Now, navigating from, uh, like, using Teams is a standard thing, as you may do with Google Chrome or something. Uh, don't worry about the things, because those are very easy. And also, there are extensive keyboard shortcuts available. Uh, say you want to mute the call, mute the microphone of you, you can press Ctrl Shift M, M4 mic. And if you want to turn off the video, you can press Ctrl Shift O, um, so on and so forth, right? Uh, if you want, you can press Ctrl Shift, uh, sorry, Ctrl Shift period, uh, sorry, Ctrl period. General level two. And you will get an extensive list of keyboard shortcuts, which is used by Microsoft Teams, right? So let's close this. Alert, we can't get your files when you're working. And if you press Control Five, you will get to. Uh, let's see. I think. Uh, R, use up or down arrow. Control Four is the maximum level. Right. Uh, there are some things, cal calendar and other things, but it's not available in my case, right? But uh, most of the time, it will be available and. Uh, in the free version of Microsoft Teams, you can connect up to 300 participants as I have uh, seen in the official website of the software, but uh, unfortunately we cannot do that because we have to have a, I think a corporate account rather than a personal account as far as I'm concerned, right? But uh, if you are using Microsoft Teams to uh, kind of get online lectures or if your university is using uh, Microsoft Teams or you um, planning to use Microsoft Teams in the future to conduct lectures, online lectures or something, uh, don't worry about that uh, because this is completely accessible and you can navigate through the software, right? Now, 
Comparing to Microsoft Teams with NVDA, the experience with JAWS is more seamless because sometimes when it gets um, stuck or when it uh, uh, focuses out of the Teams, uh, pane, pane, window, something, mm, it's very hard because say you are in a uh, meeting. Uh, in my case, I have experienced a lot and I have suffered a lot because um, I am in a meeting and it gets stuck and if I wanted to send a message, then it gets frustrated so yeah there are a lot of problems but uh, when it comes to JAWS it, this won't happen because JAWS is more like an integrated thing uh, more seamless experience you can get more seamless experience when you're using uh, JAWS with Microsoft Teams right uh, let's see how the things things thing goes uh, with Microsoft Teams using JAWS uh, I'm gonna turn on JAWS and all right uh, it seems my system is stuck because uh, since Microsoft Teams is using my resources and also my recording program is also using resources let me turn off the uh, reduce the speed a little sorry about slower, that slower 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 faster slower okay files Microsoft Teams files Windows up arrow Windows right arrow, Windows up arrow, files right. Microsoft Teams, control one, press, uh, feed is selected. This is a feed, it's a kind of activity feed uh, where you can see what's General going CL. on uh, in your uh, teams. Okay, these are more very more simple messages. things, so you you don't have to worry about those things, it's just you have to explore and see how it goes. And as I said, you have got a tutorial, an extensive tutorial about one hour long, uh, which kind of teaches how to use Microsoft Teams in a basic manner as a screen reader user okay so this is how you can use Microsoft Teams with screen readers and when it comes to JAWS the equivalent of uh, focus mode and browse mode is uh, virtual PC cursor you can turn on and turn off the virtual PC cursor by pressing insert plus Z respectively ah. Uh, in my case, it don't, it won't say virtual PC cursor because I have turned on the verbosity things and messed up with the settings uh, because of my prefer preference. But uh, if you are using the default settings of JAWS, then obviously you will get uh, mm, virtual PC cursor thing, right? So this is how you can use Microsoft Teams. Um, this is a very quick tutor tutorial because I don't ha have to, I don't want to go in deep about using Microsoft Teams because this is a standard practice. And I really hope this video has helped you out. If so, please let me know in the comment section. And if you have any questions, comments, or ideas, please let me know in the comment section as well because that would help me a lot to improve the quality of the tutorials, right? So with that being said, I'm going to sign out from now. Uh, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Signing out, Mohamed Ashad.